What's up mga kapadres? Welcome back to our channel. Today we are back with another super duper special sneaker unboxing video. By the way, here so Padres, we do uh, different types of uh, videos, uh, reviews, vlogs, YouTube short videos on um, sneakers, and as you can see in the background, toys and collectibles. So uh, with no further ado, let's get into it. As you guys saw in the thumbnail and in the title of this video, wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. We have here the Kobe 4 Pro Throw in the Gift of Mamba colorway. So uh, as you can see, this is a titan paper bag because uh, my wife, Kat, uh, the woman who does uh, the editing and the other shots for uh, this YouTube channel, Kat, big shout out to you, got a uh, W for this uh, despair and other stuff via the Titan uh, raffle app. Big shout out to you, my wife, uh, who uh, does uh, so much and uh, more. So uh, thank you, love you. So uh, sa kanya, we can share this uh, video, details of the shoe to you guys. Let's uh, pull it out of the paper bag. By the way, the SRP for this is 9,895 pesos. As we are here in the Philippines, so by the way, we have a whole playlist of a bunch of um, Kobe videos which I will be inserting in the link in the description box down below. And if you want to check our most recent issue video which was uh, this one in the background, uh, the reverse Grinches, we'll insert a card in the upper right corner of the screen and then you'll also see a thumbnail flash for uh, half a second. Oh, and one more thing, uh, this uh, shoe is kind of in contrast of uh, one of our previous or later Kobe videos which was an all-white sneaker, the Kobe 8 Halo or the Kobe 8 Pro Throw in the Halo colorway. So this one is an all-black sneaker which uh, we'll get to in, in a bit. Of course, I think you guys already know if you're a Kobe fan or you've been uh, following, you already know what this looks like but uh, of course, we'll share the details from my perspective. And one more thing, since I'm here in the Philippines, uh, we also tried uh, getting uh, W's on the Sneakers PH site. And uh, we all, me, all of my friends, and I think everybody that I know, everybody in, a face, in Facebook groups, got L's, especially in the jacket, the, the varsity jacket, um, which costs uh, 32000 something here in the Philippines. I don't know uh, anyone personally who uh, got a W in that, but for me, since uh, this was uh, launched in Titan and N NBA Store PH, I got an L on the 12 a.m. drop for uh, the jersey at NBA Store PH. And for the mechanics of Titan, if you got a W on the shoes, you are entitled to purchase also jerseys. Before we take a look at the shoes, we'll uh, take a look on the jersey. I won't be opening this yet. I'll uh, try to keep them sealed for as long as I can. That's in an extra large size the shirt. Uh, I won't. I don't think I'll be able to share that much for the shirt without opening it. Anyway, I'll just uh, insert pictures. Okay, made this uh, small Titan paper bag. So um, that's the whole pack for the Titan release, which cost sixteen thousand eight hundred ninety-five. So for guys who do not know, the whole gift of Mamba pack consists of the shoes, the jerseys that have eight and twenty-four, and the T-shirt plus the varsity jacket so i think the resale for the shoes is going for around um i think for my size 10.5 is around uh, 25,000 30 23,000 shirts in extra large size i think is going for around 8,000 pesos from the 4,995 or 4,900 something um retail and for the shirts that have that retail for 1,195 are going for around I think um, 3,000 pesos so enough of that anyway we're not resellers let's take a look at the box and the shoes for the box again as I said in the previous video of the reverse Grinches one sign that you're getting a legit pair is the scales are on the new pro throw boxes so we have scales here of course this is legit this is from Titan and then the Shizoko Logo, Kobe logos here. Kobe Bryant signature. 
and then on the side nothing nothing else on this side just a swoosh on this side and then lastly or not lastly next i mean usual stuff on the bottom of the box and most importantly most important part inside of the box it says there kobe 4 pro throw and its official colorway is black black and uni university gold so that's actually interesting because i thought uh, this would be a triple black because uh, you'll see in a bit uh it's only a i think a single or a super duper small touch of that gold on it it's basically a black sneaker so let's open it so for the paper nothing special just a plain white paper so here we have them finally out of the box so uh, let's start off with the outsole so for the outsole i think uh, back in the day when i was still uh, younger when the kobe 4 ogs released if i'm not mistaken the splatter on the bottom is i think uh, something related uh, to the to uh, venom or spider-man's uh, uh yeah venom the symbiote so uh anyway if you uh, guys are sure on what it symbolizes feel free to comment down below but for me personally uh, from what i remember or what i thought about uh, the, the design from back in the day I, it's uh, really the symbiote for me like if you do that this is platter so aside from uh, that design of course uh, this has a uh, kind of a multi-directional um herringbone because it's not just in a plain uh, plain order so I'll just call it that a multi-directional or a, probably a diagonal type of uh, herringbone which of course definitely uh, does the trick so it has really a uh, good traction and of course you see and see here it has a carbon fiber shank plate or midfoot shank going up to the midsole of course this is a pro throw we all know that this has a cushion midsole and then uh, for uh, tech specs for the forefoot uh, since the pro throw has nothing in the forefoot the og used to have a small met bag here and then uh basic zoom unit here and phylon for the midsole so this this one the, the pro throw 4 they change it up nothing in the forefoot retain the basic uh small zoom unit in the heel and then change change up the foam from phylon to cushion so uh, what other people are saying uh, that's it's actually not a uh, pro throw but a retro for og colorways so uh, that's a shame because uh if you guys know um back back when the pro throw first launched nike made the press release that it the the pro throw force had a uh, full length zoom but uh to the dismay of uh worldwide uh, kobe fans and like myself you know sneakerheads it actually do does not have full length zoom so uh, if this had a uh, full length zoom damn th these would really be uh up there with one of uh, the the goat uh, performing basketball shoes so going up to the upper for these parts these panels toe box i think this is kind of um synthetic suede because there's no hair but it kind of looks like or new box either or so uh, anyway it's surely uh, synthetic and not uh, genuine but uh, nonetheless it still feels and uh, looks good now that i have them in hand they kind of look like um, a referee shoe or you, you could wear them with the suit if you wanted to because uh, they're all in all black so basically it's a triple black shoe triple black kobe 4 pro throw and for other uh, details uh, i think they they made a really good move uh, adding this touch for these parts what do you call this is this a toe rand i forgot so this these parts have uh, the scales giving off that uh, black mamba vibe even for the swoosh and then on the collar too then for the heel you can see here you have the number 24 oh and for the external heel cap of course it's this uh shiny hard plastic for the insole nothing special for the insole just paper inserts laces are kind of uh, kind of cheap on my in my opinion but for uh, for hooping I, I guess they get the job done 
And then for the tongue material, we have here, uh, this is like, I think it's a jersey type material. And for the top of the tongue, again, this is kind of a synthetic uh, suede or new box. And then, of course, you have the Kobe logo here or the Shizoku. For the insole, nothing special for the insole. It's just a black insole, not PU, and which has a white uh, Kobe logo. And uh, as for the part that I mentioned earlier, that this is basically a black or triple black shoe. And the official colorway says uh, gold in it. So this is uh, where the right foot comes into play. So only the right foot has a Kobe Bryant signature on the external heel counter. Just on the right foot on the right side or uh, lateral side. So nothing's there on the left. No signature to be found on the left or any other part of the shoes or the pair just here. As for the sizing of this shoe, uh, since I have a thin foot, uh, I I could go uh, true to size, but it really has a kind of a kind of pinching on the top and and, and on the sides of the shoe. So uh, if you're a thin footer like me or a normal footer, you could go through to size if you want that uh, really snug one to one fit, especially if you're gonna play in them. But if you're a wide footer, you might wanna go up half a size or even a whole size up if you're a super duper wide footer. Or probably just stay away from uh, these because uh, for me, for all the pro throws, uh, this is the one that uh, really lacks luster in uh, comfort, uh, cushion, impact protection, and tech. Unlike the Kobe 6 Pro throws and uh, especially the Kobe 1 Pro throws that has full link zoom. So uh, if you're gonna just use them casually, you, you could uh, go up half a size if you have a wide foot. I mean, for the length of the shoe, I felt that it was uh, true to size. But for the upper on how snug it is on the sides and uh, on this part, on the on the upper part of your shoe, on the tongue, it really uh, really uh, kind of uh, sucks your foot in and uh, has a bit of pinching, at least on my foot. So so there, just, stay, uh, just uh, take note of that if you're going to purchase this via reseller. Or probably stock something like stock X because uh, you don't want to uh, spend a small fortune on a pair of shoes that's gonna hurt your feet so I guess that's it guys <laughs>